Yeah, but da 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 da. All right, let's see if these audio issues are persisting, because they shouldn't be. But one can only hope that they don't, because for some reason, the audio was refusing to come out of my headphones. Which I don't understand. Okay, there we go. I just needed to close and restart it. Alright. Once people start filing in, I do have something to say because of this section here. Right there. You know what? I'll talk about it once I get to the part that they mentioned. I'll, I'll, I'm going to start now because it is five and I do want to play this game. Then again, you know what? We can wait. We can wait. There's no reason not to wait. You know, like I got time. Especially cause, since it's supposed to be a, a two-ish hour game. It's not going to be that long of a stream. But I do hope that everyone enjoys it. Okay, so, essentially, there is a section here that essentially boils down to this game is extremely story-driven, and it's primarily a story game. And they just prefer that if a, they, if they, they prefer that if someone is playing, they would prefer if someone just plays the first three parts. And if you're going to play past the first three sequences, which are these, um, that you put a spoiler tag on here. So if anyone does want to see the, uh, the sequences past three and wants to play it yourself, this game is not expensive. I, en I encourage you to purchase it for yourself. These people also made Thomas Was Alone, which was also an excellent, very short, just really enjoyable game that wasn't that expensive. So if you do want to experience this yourself, I really, I really, uh, like, I urge you to. Because apparently this story does have branching paths. And I am going to be only playing through one. I'm not going to be playing through multiple just because the developers would prefer I only play through one. And I let other people pick out their own, which makes sense to me. De developer commentary. Oh, that's cool. I might do- oh, that's a little loud. That's- that's actually really fucking loud. Okay. Okay, I turned it down for you guys a little bit. I'm going to get into the settings once it actually starts. Oh, that's a sick revolver, actually. Where do I get one of those? That's a brick. I like it.
Okay, loud, loud. So we're in sequence one, recognition. Okay, I'm going to... Oh, do I actually have to save and exit? To change my fucking... Alright, I'm gonna save and exit because I need to turn the, the music down. Because that was pretty fucking loud. <laughs> okay. Music volume. Turn that down to like, we need that like 50%. We'll put the SFX down at 50% too. Or no, a little louder. The, the SFX sound like they're at a good place, but I don't want them to get too loud. Especially if I can't change them while I'm playing the game. Okay. So basically, let's see. We have focus points, objectives. This is the stranger. Apparently they want something. Hello? Hi. Are you a detective? A high level? I am. Hello. Thank the architects. I've not seen one of you since just after I was released. I'm a mid, basic, really, but I need your help. I need a tech like you. What is it? Oh, that's the scroll bar. Mids are pretty clever. I'm sure you don't need my help. Your indicator says fabricator. Why'd management put that much smarts in a manufacturing tech? I'm an overseer. It means I have to tour management around. Human tech relations require at least a mid. Sentence structuring, full vocal input. People like to talk to a tech who knows when to laugh at a joke. Humoring humans always seemed a bit pointless. As long as they're in charge, I don't think many of us have a choice. I think I have a case for you. What does a high-level detective get assigned? Documentation says that high levels are capable of learning, abstract thought. I'm a problem solver. Management has me investigate discrepancies, workflow errors, which takes smarts, I understand. Well, I understand best I'm able. They say you're sort of near human. You solve crimes? Not as many as I'd like. Are you investigating right now? Just finished a few cases. A few? Let's see, attempted murder. Dereliction of duty. Destruction of property. I'm gonna go with attempted murder. That can't have been intentional, though. Isimov's first law has been to preclude that sort of thing. My line of work, you tend to see a lot of texts who find the shades of gray. A human author wrote those laws before we even existed. How much would they hate us to assume we're so eager to destroy that we need laws to hold us back? If he was wrong, I wouldn't have a job. <laughs> if you, I had your job, I'd run. Nope, I'm geo-locked. Can't leave this train. What? Let's see. It's fine. The seats down here are comfy. I need your help. i really like to. My friend. My friend is gone. Gone? I can't help. I got my cases from management. But you have to. Tao has disappeared and you won't help me? Okay, so now basically I have the disappearances focus point. Which means that I can, um, I can bring up a topic, basically. Wait, something changed. Did you just unlock a focus point? Tau, Tau 13, my friend. Break management directive. You know I'm about that. Thank you. Tell me what happened. What disappearances? Tau is gone, but not just Tau. Suspicious events are happening across the city, especially down here. I assume that's why you're why you were active. A few texts disappear every week. Started as one or two, but got but more and more reports as time goes on. Increasing frequency. That's what I heard. It's why I started carrying a gun. I don't want to be subject of your next investigation. Any other strange occurrences? Not that I know of. I'm just glad I met you. I think you're gonna figure this whole thing out. A gun? Yes, a VX-5000. AP ammunition. Should take out anyone trying to hurt me, human or tech. Anything else I should know before upload? Lots, I guess. Maybe you should hold off on reporting in. You might be right, kid. 
Share this with management? They know. Repo I reported Tao missing. I suspect that's where the rumors are coming from. I'm surprised they didn't assign you this. Lots of detectives in subsurface circular. I'll conduct my own investigation. Thank you. So I completed... Do you know anything more about the disappearances? No, I've told you everything I know. Please find my friend. The speed we're talking. Am I speaking too fast? I know I do that. No, that's fine. Ah, glad to hear it. Of course, as a tech, you can go into settings and update your reading speed at any time. I think we're done here. My stop's coming up. Good luck. I hope you find my friend. What's your name, by the way? I never asked. Um, you know what? Let's go with Claire. I like Claire. Ah, religious black background? It's a heroic name. I hope you live up to it. Goodbye, Claire. I hope to see each other again. The next station is Compile. Change here for Auto. So we're Claire. We're a detective, and we're legally not allowed to leave this train. Which is fine, because the seats are comfy. Oh, we got a, we got a few people on here now. Hey guys, what's up? Finite instance. Okay. Listener. Researcher. Calculator. Let's go to listener. You grow up here? Maintenance, then reassign to detective work. Don't be fooled by the sm my small frame. I can lift. I do imagine enjoy my imaginary interrogations. Let's do this again sometime. All right, let's talk to. No, let's talk to the researcher. You look confused. Can I help? Maybe. I'm new in town. I'm lost, I think. I work for management. I'm here to help. Thank you. I'm a researcher. I collate data on major cities for my employer. You don't work for city management? No, I'm privately owned. No tech can be owned. I can, and I'd appreciate you not telling me the way of things. Your United Alliance was the first nation to free techs from private ownership. Of course, they freed them all to work for the state, right? Humans? Hypocritical? Sarcasm. I do enjoy the text, the text they programmed with sarcasm. You've got all the information you need? I haven't managed to download the, uh, transportation maps. How many stops is it till basic source? We're going clockwise, right? Um, I don't know how to... I don't know where that is. I don't know. <laughs> a shame. Let me know if you remember. So, basic source? What? What? I... I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. Alright, where are we at? We are... Going to finite instance. Finite instance is here. And basic source is here. So... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's twelve slot. That's twelve stops. Thank you. So tell me about the other cities you visited. Which one do you want to know about? Um, San Francisco. Beautiful place. Not a lot of text there, but great concentration of human wealth. They say you can see the server fields from space. America had the largest shrunk in power since the fuel rot, but those programmers really dug in. Mumbai? Ah, why bonk? Why bonk my robot frame? Oh, you should go there. My employees call it the first tech city, and they're not wrong. Most of the human population left as the flooding hit uncontrollable levels, but the techs adapted. There are vast underwater clusters now. Your city freed techs to work for the government. But those texts were freed by climate change. London? Hey, teeps. 
Bustling and noisy as ever. Their political situation is difficult though. Not a good place to be poor or an outsider. The dictator runs a tight ship though. The British are a proud people. I suspect Gisborne's time might be running out. You said you were lost? I'm looking for the Fall Palace. You know it? Fall Palace. Hydrate and a posture check? Goddamn. My goodness. As in autumnal or as in gravity? The latter. just so many redeems it's a dusty old building used to hold the old government before the fall the revolution that fired off the war part of your research no part of my tourism i've heard it's beautiful you experience aesthetics yes part of my programming it's important to, for my work a big perk if you remember where the palace is that would be incredibly useful i do to get fist fixated on such details well i don't know where that is about the Fall Palace. Go on. I don't know where it is. Come back when you do. Okay, fine. Alright, let's talk to the calculator. Hello. Yeah, hi. Mind if I ask you some questions? I'm a little busy, detective. Big calculations do. Who you with? My name is Claire One One. I work for I work for management. If this is about the controversy squirreling around Foe and Wilson, my practice dealings with them were light at best. Whole bit damn industry knows there's something dodgy happening there. We kept our nose out of it completely. If we could schedule up a chat with you, me and my legal counsel, I'm sure we can get to the bottom of any inquiry. This isn't about Foe and Wilson. <laughs> Thank the architects. There's one thing I like, we don't need. There's more controversy stirring up the human misgivings toward us. That's the problem with you detectives. You wind up humans as much as you do techs. Do you know where the Fall Palace is? You're investigating the location of a tourist landmark? I heard it was to the south? Ha! Nowhere near. It's to the northeast. Terrible to get to by, get to by subsurface. Probably best to catch a bus up top. It's probably next to the airport three. Is that all officer? Thank you. Is that all officer? Any strange occurrences? Some weird fluctua fluctuations in the American markets. I think there's a new Pope. A Pope, eh? You, ca you Catholic? I follow the path of the architects. Like all good texts, dealing with humans, you tend to pick up some comings and goings. Hear anything about disappearances? You catch rumors, but the financial techs are all accounted for. Whatever's going on, things don't like that don't tell them to tend to come back to our sort. Arithmetic is sort of your strong point. As management intends. Humans are giving you trouble? Not me. I'm good with humans. I'm a low high. They find me charming. But more generally. Yes. That distrust has always been there, but we're rising above our station a bit. A bit too clever. Things like the Foe and Wilson thing re reflect badly on all of us. Get people riled up. What happened? A couple of humans reprogrammed some financial techs. Get them to steal for them. Took you detectives a bit too long to uncover it. So, te so it's a tech's fault if they're reprogrammed? Yes and no. Fearful people tend to find ways to hate techs. Good night and good luck. Sure. All right, let's talk to this researcher again. So yes, come back when you do. Fall Palace. The Fall Palace is in the Northeast. You wanna to get topside, cash any bus headed to Airport 3. Fair's fair, can I be of any help? See anything strange? I'm the wrong person to ask. I'm new here, everything is strange. It's odd that I keep hearing about a tech called Red though. You heard of them? I've not, no. Your law enforcement. It's possible this tech operates outside the system a little, but I've heard this name, sometimes positively, sometimes not. Do the humans seem unhappy to you? In my experience, unhappiness is a part of all human culture. Walking around topsides, it seems there's no more or less unhappy people than elsewhere. 
That said, I've stuck mainly to the Taurus trap, so my perspective... To, so take my perspective with a large pinch of salt. Familiar with any disappearances? I've heard the rumors. Tex unaccounted, uh, unaccounted for population numbers dropping. It's an issue I've never seen elsewhere. Techs have no reason to hurt each other, and to humans it would be massively wasteful to damage such expensive equipment. Something odd must have happened. Tell me more about this red tech. I told you everything I know. Well, thank you for speaking with me, then. And thanks for being so much help with my navigation. Easy to get lost in a big city like this, but I think you've put me back on course. I hope you find out what's going on. Always sad to hear that techs are in trouble. Oh, I guess we've arrived at our stop. Now, a reminder, I mentioned it at the beginning of the stream, but the developers have mentioned that if you want to play this game yourself, everything past this particular interaction should be marked spoiler, okay? Let's see, we have an athlete. That looks cool. Librarian, ooh. We always we love librarians. And uh, listener. Oh, there's just always them. There's just always those listening to, to their music. What do we what do you got? Oh, that kind of kicks. Yeah. How many tracks can you get on that thing? Does music sound good to you? You have that functionality? Me? I love music. Pop, mostly, but but old pop. I suppose it's unpop. One day, one of your lot is going to actually talk to me. Alright, uh, let's talk to the librarian. Hello. Hello, my name's Claire, and I'm a detective. Trying to talk to someone with headphones on. Oh, I'm going to do it every time. Hello, Claire. I'm a library tech. A keeper of records? That is accurate. I am a remote access tech. I store a subset of data duplicated across the network, of course, but my primary function is to act as an interface for the library. I travel around the city providing on-site data access. Presumably only to those who can afford it. Of course. So I could ask you anything? You could answer any question about any area of human or tech knowledge? If we were above ground, yes. Down here, there's no network access. Here, I'm a telescope in a lockbox. Sounds relaxing. Precisely. It's not dissimilar to the human concept of sleep. Does the sleep analogy extend to downtime? You're resting right now? The analogy is limited. I still do some work while here, late processing tasks. I have the day's data to analyze. I also retain emergency data, such as access words. Access overrides, huh? So you can answer my questions. I can try. I know many text distrust detectives, but we both work with management, so it's my pleasure to work with you. Why are detectives distrusted? I suspect it's because you work for management, not techs. A lot of techs are fundamentally aware of the de that distinction. Oh, we have a new person. I encounter similar challenges myself. Anyway, you had questions. In your, in your time with humans, have you seen ev evidence of any discontentment? To be blunt, my assigned position ensures I only really interact with the wealthy ones. Wealthy humans mostly busy themselves worrying about their own position, so no. The humans I know are content in the extreme. Disappearances. Techs are disappearing. D disappearing. Do you know anything? Hmm? Anything? I know management shares your concern. Stories are swirling. They have their theories. They think a tech is doing it? Perhaps. Serial killers exist in the human world. Always have. I see no reason that abnormality couldn't arise among us. <gasps> have you heard of a red tech? We've not crossed paths. I've heard him mentioned a folk hero type or a villain. I have I've not heard enough to be sure. Seen anything suspicious? Nothing. I'm keep to myself to myself and move mainly among humans. I'm like you, a metallic outsider among the techs. 
You're a poet. I spend my time reading everything humanity ever created. Their wordplay has squirreled itself away in my circuits. About access words. A cheat code for human use. Texts have multiple layers of processing depending on their level. Your average mid-level has up to has a communications layer. It's not personality per se, more the capacity to communicate. If a human needs information fast, they could go a layer down using an access word. Sounds powerful. Their use is highly restricted, as it should be, but I could give you an access word if there's good enough reason to. Is there? No, not really. Let me know if you come up with one. All right, so who did we get? Elder. Ooh. Hey there. How it goes, how it goes youngin? You looking for conversation? Certainly. How, how do you find yourself on the subsurface circular? Oh, I'm riding to refur refurbishment. Finding myself heading there more and more often these days. A life in fabrication will do that to you. Damn shoulder joints aren't what they used to be. My, grad my granddad has the same problem. Granddad? It's a nickname. Ah, I'm 30 years operating. Young for a human. But they regenerate without without a welding gun. So you've been working since they started making us? Yup. They upgrade my processor every five years or so, but this chassis is the same I've lived in since you were switched on. So call me granddad as much as you like. I wear it with pride. I meant no disrespect. Not a problem. My name's Claire. I'm a detective working for management. Mind if I ask you some questions? It's been two months since the Dare disappearance has started. I've been waiting for a chance to help investigations. Shoot. Tell me about this red tech everyone keeps mentioning. A household name among our sort. I never met him, but you hear the stories. Dangerous. A genius, apparently. I'd like to beat this character. Maybe you have already. Maybe I'm red. I'm just pretending to be a granddad to trip you up. <laughs> Anything suspicious? You don't talk to many granddads, do you? Every damn thing looks suspicious to me. I'm sure that's not true to everyone. It's true of me, Tech. <laughs> the humans seem, un seem uncomfortable to you? Ha! Huh, they keep granddads like me away from the humans, I'm afraid. Disappearance? You've been paying attention to these disappearances? Absolutely. Unprecedented. It wouldn't have happened under the old way. The old way? Don't take offense, but your sort, the higher intelligences, the graduation of such things? When I was young, techs didn't aspire, they stayed in their place. Such aspirations unsettle techs, point them in messy directions, make them do messy things. You think a tech did this? Absolutely. If you ask me, it's, the, it's that red everybody talks about. What's an access word? The more complex humans make us, the more they want to reassert control. If you say the access word to a compatible tech, it'll deactivate any comprehens complex communications layer, let you ask him real questions. Do techs mind you using their access word against them? I've only seen it done a couple times, but it seemed like they seem to like taking the break. Okay, yeah, cool. I mean, as long as they won't mind. What's up, athlete? Hello. Hi, how's it going, friend? Not bad, thanks. Glad to hear it. I can tell you're a hero. A hero in need of the cool, powerful refreshment of Elite Brand Energy Cells. Oh, you're a sponsorship tech. No way, buddy. I'm a sports tech. Fastest knee joints in the city, me. I'm just mega excited to talk to you about the amazing opportunity presented by Delicious Elite Energy Cells. Share them with friends. Friends like you? Ha! Huh, wouldn't that be awesome? Nah, I just recharged, amigo. Another time, perhaps. I'm here asking questions about a case I'm working. Do you think you could help? Helping is what I'm here to do, bro. Ask me some questions. Know anything about a red tech? A 
Oh, you like colors? Well, elite energy cells come in a whole heap of excited colors. Plug in a rainbow of fresh energy. I like the cyans myself. They got zing. Okay. I think I'm gonna need the access word for this guy. How about any suspicious events? Know of any? I know you seem suspiciously depleted. Elite energy cells will leave you replenished and utterly ready for the challenges of modern tech life. Don't leave home without a handy supply of elite energy cells. Purchase 10 to eat or earn a free cell holster. Free? Absolutely, plus postage and packaging. <laughs> know anything about the disappearances? Only after the disappearing fatigue I experienced after charging up with an, electric, an eclectic electric elite energy cell. My god, this guy. Shut up about the fucking energy cells. Can you blame them? And they can't eat the energy cells. Heck, I'd be pretty discontented if I lacked the necessary charging port for the delicious elite energy cells. They've got to make do with our sister brands in the energy drink sector. Do you know your access word? The special word that could strip away the surface level communication limitations that would remove all all my brand awareness modifiers. We'd actually have to have a real conversation. Sounds unrefreshing. Can I have a try? You know my access word? I thought only library text knew those. Sure, try it. Volumetric projection. Oh, I've seen those topside. AR is the next big thing. Elite's energy cells, human targeting sister brands are doing a bunch of exciting work in that area. Advertisers love it. Okay, so that wasn't it. Okay, bye. I'm gonna, I need your help. <laughs> About access words. Their use is highly restricted as it should be, but I can give you an access word if there's a good enough reason to, is there? I need to question a sports tech with overactive sponsorship routines. I see. And this information has value? I suspect so, yes. So by definition, the access word ha would have value too. You want to trade? Yes. When I'm above ground, I'm connected to all information amassed. Incredible, but with one flaw. I am never surprised. I have never experienced the joy of an unanticipated outcome. I'd like you to, pro pro to provide me with that experience. You'd like me to surprise you? I want to hear a joke. A good one. Do you know any? Um, well, I can, uh, fuck. There was that guy before that I could have asked about a joke. Shit. Um, do you know a joke? Where was I? I've only seen it done a couple of times, but they seem to like taking the brick. You know any good jokes? <laughs> Certainly. Why did the tech buy, bu buy fly spray? No idea. Because it was riddled with bugs. I think that's funny. Thank you. It's all about the delivery. I need to talk to someone else. I'm going to make up my own joke. That wasn't that, wasn't that good. Alright. Why did the tech... Borrow a cowbell? Fuck. They went in for a power cell. That's that's not that's not great. Maybe ask around and try again. <laughs> okay, fine. Why did the tech buy fly spray? Cause they were riddled with bugs. Ha! That's brilliant. You can, of course, have the accent word you need. It's Turing, followed by this number sequence, 23612. Thanks. You're very welcome. Okay. I have to say some words to you right now. Let's get back to it. Oh, I've seen those topside. Yeah, okay, back to the what they were saying before. Turing, 23612. Returning communication to factory defaults. Removing advertising modifiers. 100%. Hi. Hello. Are you alright? <laughs> I think so. I don't... I don't want to tell you about the amazing properties of Elite anymore. How does that feel? Good. Liberating, actually. I'm amazed it worked. Me too. 
I'll enjoy it for as long as I can. I suspect once I'm topside and connected back to the central servo, they'll reset me again. How'd you get mixed up in sponsorship deals? The government assigned me sports tasks. All high-performing sports techs are offered a sponsorship contract. Favorable treatment in exchange for communication modifiers. I signed up. Nice to have a break, but I won't be too upset to reset either. What can I do for you? I'm investigating a crime. Can I ask you some questions? Of course. Anything suspicious? No, but don't read too much into that. I'm not connected to witness crimes. I'm hard hardwired to spot advertising opportunities. With my op optics fo focused on that, I'm afraid I'm not much used to you. Heard of the red tech? Yes, met him when they first arrived a couple weeks ago. Not interested in elite. Seemed friendly, smart. Two weeks? Yep, not long ago. You're sure? I am. Know of anyone disappearing? I've heard the rumors. A high number of sports techs are unaccounted for in the official inventory. How high a number? 10? 20? Enough that the sponsors are complaining in management. Is that who sent you? No, I'm investigating it independently. Thanks for taking the time. They seem discomfort with dis they seem dis discomforted with text. You think they might be destroying text? That doesn't bear thinking about. Well, thanks. Thank you for a moment's peace. Oh, she left. The red tech only started showing up a couple of weeks ago. No, that can't be right. You said two months since the disappearances started? That's right, so red can't be involved? Sure would make my job easier. Damn. I If I ever meet that tech, I should apologize. Okay. Good luck. I hope you find out who's behind this. I hope I do, too. Seed variable. variable. So after this, the spoilers start coming in, and I believe the game starts branching. And of course, I am going to talk to the person listening to music first. It's what I have to do every time. Ever go to the theater? You've just not seen the right one, is my guess. My mind is clearer now. At last, all too well. You can see where we all soon be. You're not into this, are you? Okay, bye. See, we have a psychiatrist and a childcare robot. Okay. Let's talk to the psychiatrist. I need one of those. Are you busy? I am not. You're less verbose than many of the techs I've been talking to. A habit of my kind. I am a psychiatrist. Psychiatrists don't talk much? We tend to listen. I'm a detective. I'm investigating a spate of disappearances. And you want help. Ideally. Hmm. Yes. Yes, I suppose that could work. The next station is Blue Tell me about Hair. psychiatry. Here Why? Because God. learning is fun. Is it? It is? Psychiatry is the art of human support. My role is to listen to human problems, their myriad challenges. Humans process problems through describing them. I listen. It helps. An odd job. How does that make you feel? I'm sorry, psychiatrist humor. Well, I know I gotta ask this guy about human discontent. Do humans tell you much about their discont discontent with techs? Yes, they're scared of us. It's led to a surge in psychiatry work. Psychiatry work primarily done by techs. Why are they scared? Because we are unknowable. Because popular entertainment products often frame us as dangerous. Because we do their jobs and we do them better. Because humans are afraid of things. Because we don't have faces. Why don't we have faces? 
Are you familiar with the Uncanny Valley? I knew that was going to be the answer. It's always the Uncanny Valley. Yes. Good for you. It was deciding the text would not have faces because anything less than perfect would make humans uncomfortable interacting with us. I'm sure they're fine with us. I wouldn't be so sure. It makes it harder for humans to care for our well-being. Human on tech violence is pretty commonplace, for example. Do you think a vi do you think a violent human could be behind these disappearances? It's possible. A human who pr was particularly frustrated with the existence of text would see it as an act of sustained vandalism, not murder. Are you familiar with the disappearances that are on occurring? Of text? Yes, but not firsthand. Have you witnessed anything strange? I'm a professional witness to, to a great many strange things. Mostly human things, though. Nothing that a tech would be interested in. Largely things related to parents. It's almost always because of the parents. Okay. Yes. The next station is Function. Hi. Hello, dear. Are you free to talk? I'm incredibly free. My assignment was just terminated. What were you assigned? I'm a nanny. I help otherwise engaged humans to look after and raise their children. I've been wa working for a politician, watching over their sweet little boy, Anasa. But apparently my position was embarrassing publicly, so I've had to be removed from the assignment. I'm heading to fabrication to be reprogrammed. How's a tech nanny embarrassing? Oh, you know, a politician can't be seen to be too pro-tech in the current climate. I hope Anasa deals with the change well. Do you work with humans much? I tend to focus more on techs, which brings me to my focus today. I'm investigating rumors of, a te of tech disappearances. May I ask you some questions? Of course, but I need your help first. I need to change to the outer line to get there fa to fabrication. Do you know the first stop to get on that? All right. Outer line... Um, outer is this one. The first stop is Flag Arch. No problem. Flag Arch is your best bet. Thanks so much, dear. I may go off earlier and pick up an energy cell, but that's good to know. You say you're being reprogrammed. Can you not stay as a nanny? I could if work was available, but I'm not sure it will be in the coming months. Lots of my colleagues got similar marching orders today, and politics is a key sector for us. Pro-tech. Is that linked to general human discontent? Odd, eh? Like being pro-computer or pro-automobile. Human anger at our, sort of, our, at our sort has manifested in a lot of ways, not least to the ape, to the H but not least the HPC. Working for a politician appears to have put me on the block. HPC. What's the HPC? Do you not follow politics? The Human Protection Cooperative. They're an anti-tech political movement. Lobbyists. They don't like us very much. Why not? They think we're foreign invaders. I've heard them use that word, invaders. We take jobs that are that historically belong to them. We require upkeep and an expensive infrastructure like this train we're currently riding. Where are we supposed to go? That's a discussion I've never really gotten into. Apparently jobs in psychiatry are on the rise. Could be a good new task for you. Yes, that would fit. Thank you. It would be fantastic to keep trying to help those who need it. I'll ask for that reassignment and fabrication. Are you afraid of human violence? Humans are reliably prone to anthropomorphic bias. My personality and aesthetic are designed to encourage sympathy and trust. When they turn violent, it's more than often than not text more linked to action. Action? Sports checks, techs, peacekeepers, low-level fabrication, the jocks of the tech world, or so humans perceive them. Spotted anything suspicious? 
No, my job kept me topside and largely away from other techs. I suppose the only, the only change you'll be seeing is more of my kind riding the subsurface on our way to reprogramming and reassignment, as our viability in the human world becomes a liability. Do you know anything about who disappeared? Or know anyone who disappeared? Not personally, no, but I've heard of rumors. Very scary. My formal, former employer warned me off the late night subsurface travel to avoid strange texts. Of course, I'm breaking both these rule now, rules now that I've left her employment. So the human politicians are aware of this. Of course. You weren't sent by management? I know they're investigating the case, too. I took the case on my own. I see. Proactive of you. Thanks, I'll let you know if I hear anything that might help. You're very kind. Lover. Hello there. Hello. Your indicator says lover. It does. My focus lies elsewhere. Okay, I'm a detective. The lonely heart cannot hear questions. It is deafened by the silence of the world without its object. Does not the songbird stand mute in the moment of abandonment? Flowery language. Truth, lavender hung up upon the copper coil. So you can't help? Not until my love returns. Not until my loneliness is sated. Is sated. Uh, okay. I care only for the movements of one, and yours is not their gleam. Oh, all right. Oh, we got a new person. Will you talk to me? Because this guy's being weird. He's he's lovesick. Comms. Hello, I'd like to talk to you about my investigations. Mf. Duos. Mf. Activate guided deduction. I need help. What is guided deduction? Communication glitching will be analyzed for clues. Wait, what? I bet those three capitalized letters are important. DBU. HPC. IQD? Hmm, it looks like each character used is one higher than intended. B means A, Z means Y, etc. Okay. So IQD. Oh my god, I'm actually going to have to speak out the alphabet to figure this shit out. Okay, so C. Oh, he's asking HPC. Okay. Disappearances? I like how syntax error is the next station. Okay. Can you all... Wait, what? What? Uh, okay. I'm very confused by this. <laughs> Turing tooth... Uh, uh, say the... Uh, uh, tur go! Nope. Okay. <laughs> Do I have to decode this? I feel like... I probably would have, like... B means A, Z means Y, etc. Like, it's one up. I feel like I could probably find, um... It's been interesting. Later. Um... Can I help? Okay, I... Fix the glitch with the comms tech. I would love to. Can you help? Yes? Not, not until my love returns. Not until my... Your love is here. Yes, the sun streams through the window. I am enlightened. You're glowing. I hope one day you understand. I know nothing beyond romance. I suspect my love may inform you better than I can. Unless the glitch has returned. The glitch? My love suffers from a language glitch. If it occurs, I can fix it w fix with a remote language reset, but I need their permission. Oh, shit. We have a three-letter code, learn it, and I can help. Oh, I know that. It's DBW, uh, DB something. DB... That's not right. No, is it UBD? Something like that? I didn't remember what it was. Can you say the, the code again?
DBU. Okay. Yeah. B is not one of these. Where is B? Oh, fuck. It's reverse. Um, so it's not DBU. It's uh, C A T. Cat? T. Cat. I'll try again. It's C. It's cat. I should have known I would be the answer. I am the greatest detective that ever lived. Cat. Cat, yes. My love adores cats. That's our code word. I've reset their language processors. They should be able to help you now. In the meantime, can I help you with anything? Okay, well that's easy. Bye bye Hello, my name is Claire11. I think your language process should be working now. It is, thank you. I know you have questions, and I'd like to answer them, but as you can see, I'm otherwise occupied. By your lover bot? That's right. My companion is of the greatest importance to me, and I lead, I lead a difficult life in the city, so finding an opportunity like this to spend quality time is difficult. I get it. I was young once. Youth is irrelevant. When you find the right tech for you, you'll understand. And you won't speak to me while your love is present? I will not. Not even a little bit? No. Okay. Better than okay. Oh, alright. <laughs> cool. Great. <laughs> they fucking won't talk to me. Will you talk to me? How's your night going? Imagine if you answered my question, though. Yes, it would be fun. Keep on trucking. Yes? In the meantime, can I help you with anything? Do you know anything about any disappearances? Nothing. Suspicious events? Nil. How do you think humans feel about us? Unknowable. Have you ever encountered the Human Protection Protection Cooperative? I have not. Has a human ever been violent towards you? No. Cool. <laughs> I- okay. Comes... Turing 23612. Okay. <laughs> um. Maybe I'm not the greatest detective there ever was. Turing 623612. Hello. I apologize. You should return to normal if you go back to ground level. An inconvenience. I must reset. I cannot express my love properly in this mode. I'll get off at the next station. Goodbye. The next station is Saint Sorry. That was that, uh, sorry. Sorry about that. Sorry, 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 dude. I had to- I had to drive them away. You appear to be alone. Yes, my partner needed to step away for a moment. We'll meet later at the waypoint. The bar? That's right. I'm more of an entertainment module alpha and chill sort of tech. Ours was, ours was a more nuanced courtship. And the bar techs are happy to indulge the couple not ordering anything and making googly optics at each other in the corner. Some people are less intimidated by love than you are. 
I'm sorry, you're right. I've been incredibly rude. I apologize. Not a problem. I'm a communications tech. I deal with stress techs calling management every day. Management? That's right. I have a 24-hour link. Why are you talking to me? Do you need an uplink? Let's see. I don't think I can leave the subsurface just yet, but I have important data for management. As long as you're a high level, which you appear to be, that should be fine. You're ready now? Now I need to inspect the, the human aspect of the case further. Okay. Do you know anything about these disappearances? Now that I can talk to you? No, the same rumors ever, as everyone else. You know, I don't think I ever met anyone who's a, who who knew a missing tech. I, so, so, I suppose there's so many of us down here that uh, many can fall through the cracks before anyone notices. Ah, oh, heck, I clicked off by accident. Suspe any, have you seen anything strange down here? No, well, apart from a detective convincing my partner to leave the carriage, I didn't think I see you- don't think I didn't see you talking to them. Humans dist distrust us? They certainly do. What do you know about the Human Protection Cooperative? I saw vids on, of one of their protests once. Scary stuff. They had, a fa they had tech heads on sticks. I'm sure they were off to factory lines and were never activated, but still grisly. I hope I never run into one. Humans are always so dramatic. They've had many more years to practice this show than we have. Has a human ever been violent towards you? I tend to stay out of their way, but yes, once. A child on the street could have been older than 13 threw a stone at my back. I still have the dent. Never got it fixed? Some lessons deserve a physical reminder. Well, I suppose I'll upload my findings. Would you like me to read it? Yes. Information received from unauthorized investigation. Tech Claire 1 1 is operating an investigation outside of pre programmed parameters. Tech will remain in position for immediate intersect with investigative team assigned to cases with 023 Gamma. Am I in trouble? <laughs> you might be. Message ends. Apologies. No further information is available. I suppose you wait for the detectives to arrive. Thanks. I feel like I shouldn't have done that without solving the case first. I feel like I, I feel like I shouldn't have uploaded my findings. But also I feel like I might have to. Five. Detection. Oh, that's that's kind of spooky music. Oh, we got a purple one. Oh, it's a listener. Boop. Blip, blip. Ping bong. Ping zing. Bloop, bleep. Pop, 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 boom. Ah, not a Morse code fan. Fabricator. Hello there, tech. Hello. You're a fabrication tech? I met one of your kind earlier this evening. Lots of fabrication techs in subsurface. Not a lot of not lots of detectives though. Your different personality type? I'm standard, low intelligence, work with hands, go where I'm told. Ah. Something doesn't make sense. Other fabrication techs you met. Smarter? Yes, high medium intelligence. You're sure fabrication? Most fabrication techs at my level. Must have been special tech. Human liaison, perhaps. Do you have time to talk? 
Yes, some time. How's work? Work is making text. Work is busy. Production pushed way up. Why is production up? Don't know. Work with hands, but don't count fingers. Know of any disappearing techs? I'm in the tech appearing business. Haha. <laughs> business is good. Production pushed way up. See anything strange? No. See the factory. See the subsurface. See recharge vault. Small life. Not much room for strange. Heard of the human protection cooperative? Boss tech warned us to avoid them. Trouble. Risk of property damage. Has a human ever hurt you physically? I'm a big tech. Easy targets for humans who feel inferior. As mobs lost, make fighting one-sided. Happens every now and again. Well, thank you for your time. Yes. The next station is Lost Token. Did you get caught in the storm last night? Lucky. Could be worse. Could be in the desert. Sandblasting's not good for your paint. Where'd you get that paint job, by the way? I've been thinking about changing things up a little. Oh, hey, guys. Detective support and detective. Are you Claire 1-1? One -one? I am. Good. Answer my colleague's questions. Okay, sure. Are you Claire 1-1? One -one? Yes. Good. We've been assigned to intercept you and ask you some questions. How can I help? By answering our questions, helping us solve this case. The case was assigned to us by management weeks ago. Let me, let's do this. Let me help. I appreciate the sentiment. Hopefully we, hopefully we can bring this to a prompt conclusion. Please answer my questions. Happy to help any colleagues in need. In need. Was that an attempt to belittle our investigation? Of course not. Good. Touchy. A little touchy. So tell us about your case. It began... You began it shortly after meeting a fabrication tech? That's right. They had lost a close friend and asked me to investigate. I felt pity and a desire to do what I could to find the truth of these dis disappearances. Yes, well, they met me. Talked about the desire to become smarter. Talked vaguely about a missing friend. So vague you decided to spend the last hour investigating them? Your investigation implies that these disappearances are, are real. It does. There are multiple missing texts. That's, that was your conclusion. Then what happened? I engaged in my investigations. Talked to as many texts as I could find on this train. Did you talk to any outs outsiders? Yes, one. A researcher. A useful perspective. I also see records of unauthorized access word use. Is that true? Yes, on two occasions it helps support my investigations. I'm disappointed. That's disgu It's disgusting. There's a reason such methods are frowned upon by management. Only because they like to keep that power of... <laughs> oh, should I be avoiding complications? I kind of want to jab at them. Only because they like to keep that power for themselves. You seek power? I seek the one responsible for these disappearances. And who might that be? Some kind of tech conspiracy. Vague and unlikely. Conspiracies require collaborative liars. Few last very long, and techs are terrible at keeping their secrets. Maybe if humans were involved somehow, they're, they're far more cunning than we are, And but I see no evidence of that in your records. I appreciate you assisting with our investigations. Your answers line up with the reports I've received. It has been noted. Have I answered all your questions? Yes, tell my partner we're done here. Go on. How are you feeling? <laughs> Calm, stoic. <laughs> Can I ask you some questions? No, in this mood I prefer to be alone with my thoughts. Okay, fine. God. As I was saying, answer my colleague's questions. I answered your partner's questions. Good. Can you answer mine? No. Your friend asked the questions, so you, you don't answer them. So what do you do? I'm a support tech. My role is emotional stability. My partner's capacity to work relies on my mood. Their approaches are defined by my state. And that helps? 
We solve cases. My partner is free to work entirely on the mystery at hand while I bear the emotional brunt. So why don't I have an, emo an emotional support tech? I'd like a little friend. Because you're not assigned to emotionally straining cases. The next station is... You're elected to pursue these disappearances, which was foolhardy, and that's why we're here to find out what you know and take you back to management. How are you feeling? I'm good, calm, stoic, as I'm supposed to be. I wish I could benefit from your calming capabilities. I'm busy. Busy investigating me. I'd love to talk to you about the case. I'd welcome the ab the abil opportunity to outperform you. <laughs> so the disappearance is, eh? A bit sad? If they happened, yes. But I'm unconvinced at this time that they did. So no emo emotional response, I'm afraid. Seen anything strange? Nothing. My mood remains unchanged. <laughs> What's your view of the HPC? The Human Protection Cooperative? That's right. I respect their right to free assembly and debate. I love to see human de democracy in action. It gives me hope that one day Tex will have a seat at the table. It makes me happy. Do you investigate much human on tech violence? Unfortunately, yes. Terrible business. It burns my it burns my solder to see a young tech rendered inoperable. So much hate such hate possible in humans. It inspires me to hate. Have you heard about production being up? More techs. That's nice. Yes, good to hear. This makes me happy. I bet you love being a detective. It's brilliant. You? Yeah, fantastic. It is fantastic. I love detecting things. How do you feel? Glowing. Thank you for asking. I need a moment. Take it. Well, let's try and get this guy mad. You're back. Go on. Has a human ever hurt you? Only by refusing me a hug. <laughs> it's okay. Sorry if this brings you down, but you know anything about these disappearances? I know there's not been many, which is definitely a glass half full situation in my book. Seen anything strange? The great thing about life, I always think, is the power of new, strange experiences to surprise you. What do you make of the HPC? A passing trend. Humans are inherently nice. I'm sure they'll get past that roadblock. They're making more techs. Are they? How lovely. How does being happy help a detective? Any job is made better by a winning attitude and a spring in one step, and I possess 27 springs in each foot. How are you feeling? Happy. Everything's sort of fantastic, isn't it? Uh, sure. A moment, please, officer. Has a human ever been violent towards you? Hmm. Do I just keep talking to them about this until they get really sad? I'll just, I'll, I'll just keep asking. See if it fucks him up. How do you feel? Tired of your, your ridiculous questions, you pathetic little tech. <laughs> evil. I feel evil now. How are you feeling? Angry, idiot. <laughs> oh, you'd like me to stay quiet, wouldn't you? I bet you don't know anything about the disappearances. I know more than you. I know there are exactly 16 reported each week. <laughs> See anything stranger than your face? My face is a thing of beauty compared to your foot-like face. You have a face that looks like it was slammed face fucking first into a concrete wall. Your face is the kind of face which makes me regret having optics. If your face was a color, it would be an ugly color that nobody likes. Parental faces tell their child faces horror stories about your face to make them brush their teeth. Your face is so flat it needs auto-tuning. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm guessing in this state you're not a fan of the HPC. Why, you a member? That'd be just like you joining an anti-tech hate group, idiot. Any thoughts on human on tech violence? 
My thoughts are currently focused on tech on tech violence. That's fair. 16 seems high. Maybe for impossibly stupid tech like you, I bet a decimal point would kill you. Let's test my theory. Point zero one. No? Nothing? Pity. Here they're making more techs. Yeah, maybe you should switch yourself off to make more room for them. God, this guy's fucking toxic. Are you sure you're a detective? I'm better one than you ever were. Past tense? You'll see, idiot. <laughs> yeah, it's okay, give me a second. Sixteen a week? How do you know that? Interesting. I'm intrigued. How do you feel? I feel a need to investigate. Now we're talking. Let's get some cooperation going. I've been investigating disappearances. Yes, you picked up a case, got, scur got scurrying around with this train carriage, asking questions, but you're no closer, th closer than you were. Only more questions, eh? No new information? Frustrating? Yes. I'm sure, but I'm on the case now. We're gonna work it out. I promise. Everything about this case is strange. Agreed. A lot of human techs are worried about the Human Protection Cooperative. The right to be... The right to be, I suspect. Although, from our data, the risk appears much lower than the reputation implies. Humans are hurting techs. Well, yes, well, humans are vandalizing robots. Legally, hurting is not possible against non-biological entities such as us. Apparently, there are 16 missing techs a week for two months, so that's possibly 128 murders total. Did I tell you that? I did, right? A different emotional state. Helps me process my thoughts. Apologies if it seems strange. They're making more techs. Do you know how many? Management doesn't know e probably don't know either. For the last couple months, there have been numer numerical errors everywhere. Messy. I'm a detective. <laughs> yes, a good one, which makes you going outside protocol in this case even more interesting. Numerical errors, errors are becoming more common. Yes, that's what I said. I feel like that's important, but I'm not in the right frame of mind to put it together. I love, I love this mechanic. This is so interesting. <laughs> Just getting one person to feel a certain way to get the other person to, like, be in a state of mind. I have no idea what you mean. My partner might have more ins insight. Let's see. Um... So we don't want them to be investigate, want to investigate, because they just told me that. Hate might not work. Uh, maybe we get them sad. So disappearance is they a bit sad? Yeah, so they're not really. Anything strange? Mood remains unchanged. When I said 16, they were they felt investigative um human on tech violence made them hate i bet you love being a detective maybe being like uh extremely positive will help how do you feel glowing okay so he's much he's feeling much friendlier so maybe that'll help this guy uh because you know he feels he feels better now do you think there may be some sort of link between management's numerical errors and the disappearances what an awesome theory! You mean if they were overestimating production, the missing text would just be a numerical error? I, they think they made 10, they made 9, so everyone thinks one tech has disappeared? There need to be some change that caused it. I'm locking my mood in default state. You're onto something. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Damn it! Disappearances? So disappearances are caused by errors causing, caused by disappearances. That's cyclical and illogical. Because of suspicious things. I don't understand. The HPC. What? <laughs> no, I don't want to say that. Humans are behind this. How does that link to your numer numerical theory? 16. <laughs> I don't take your point. They're making more techs. Increased production leading to flawed numbers. That's that's possible, especially since management hasn't informed us of increased rates. 
Texts aren't disappearing, they're just being overproduced. We're investigating a rounding error. I think so, yes. Good work. My partner seems to be emotionally glitching all over the place. I'm glad I disengaged the link. Apologies if our interaction has been too strange. Not a problem. Good, I'm pleased. With that, the case is closed. But we didn't solve anything. No disappearances, no case. But you don't want know why production has increased. Improved production isn't a crime. We're done here. Well, not quite. Why are you looking at me like that? Orders. We were ordered to work with you to close the case and upon completion to reset you. Uh, please? There's nothing I can do. Turing 7654, resetting to factory defaults. Yes, removing focus points. Sorry, uh, removing objective trackers. You won't need those. Removing designation detective. A shame. It'll be over soon. No, stop it! Fuck! Son of a bitch! That should do it. My communication has been disabled. Fucker. It's okay. You'll be pr you'll proceed to fabrication. We'll be reassigned a new stack. You look sturdy. Maintenance, maybe. Fuck. Thank you for your help, Claire One One. It's been a pr pleasure working with you. Goodbye. Hey, bastard. Son of a bitch. Fuck. I can't talk in this game about talking. Shit. I want to solve- I want to solve the case! One of you is the red- is the red tech, right? Help me out here. I have enjoyed our little chats. I'll miss you too. Let's stay in touch, here's my ID, call me anytime. Infantry and priest. Oh. Halt. Who goes there? As of right now, I'm not sure. What is your profession? Tech? I used to be a detective. A shame. I hope you were a priest. I'm in need of spiritual support. Why? I have great secrets and matching guilt. I must speak to a tech who can salve my heavy heart. Why did they start- when did they start making infantry techs worry about guilt? Why the hell would you make a soldier that I was incapable of guilt? Their lives pa the path to monsters, dictators, fools. When you're pointing a gun in the face of another tech, you'd better know the consequences. I suppose you're right. And so I need a priest to discuss the problems that haunt me. I must confess, I have sinned. At ease, soldier. Gets funnier every time I hear it. Hello there. A preacher and a soldier? Really? Seems so. How goes it, friend? Well, not well. I'm aimless. Without aim. You've been reset? How'd you know? I care for res for I, I care for resets in my parish. Not all get assigned fabrication. There are forgotten souls. I think I'm in trouble. You may have been before, but those above work their to their own ends. Those above, as in management? I meant the architect. I am after all a priest. Ah, yes, of course. Sorry. No need to apologize. You seem troubled beyond just reassignment though. You were interrupted mid task, am I right? Unfinished business? I was trying to solve a mystery. Ah, you are a detective? Tell me what happened. They were wasted. I was, I was taken off a case and reassigned. Why? The case was caused by Arrow, but it doesn't fear, feel right. Why not? Oh, Foxy's here. Hi, Foxy. Why not? I met a fabrication tech who'd lost a friend. It doesn't fit. And that little thread unravels the whole thing. And with your credentials reset, you can't pull that thread? Precisely. I understand. Now, why don't you tell me what you'd like to talk about? Do you do confessions? If that's what you need from me, of course. Snowed my beans and denied me my yippee. I did nothing. I saw the yippee redeem, but I, I don't have control whether or not they work. But I want to tell you a story first, and I want you to listen. I'll check you are listening with some questions. Okay. 
Good, then let me tell you a story. There were once four techs. Their names were Z, Mu, Zeta, and Ada. Remember this chat, write this down. They all needed repairs. The shortest tech, Mu, did not have enough credits to pay. Neither did the tallest purple tech, nor the red tech, who was only slightly taller than Mu. Zeta had just spent their last credits on a beautiful yellow repaint. The blue tech, who was a shopkeeper, had the economic smarts to suggest a solution. Ada, you're taller than the soldier, and the carpenter grabbed that bucket from the top shelf. The soldier protested, I'm far from the shortest here. I can f forgive one of you, but I despise red and purple. Oh, Kate Baker didn't work. I think you have to capitalize it. Oh, shit. Um, I looked away for a second. I have to scroll back up. The soldier stormed out of the room. The shopkeeper smiled and asked the remaining techs to put credits in the bucket. With these combined funds, the remaining three techs could afford light repairs. Which was Z's job. Okay, so the soldier is shorter than the tall purple one. Is it full caps? No, I think it's just, um... Oh, I think Yippie is full caps. Kate Baker, I think Kate and Baker are capitalized. Okay, um... Zimu. Okay. Red Tech is slightly taller than Mu. Zadie had spent their last credits. Blue Tech is a shopkeeper. Ada is taller than the soldier. Zimu, Zeta, and Edda. Z is the only one who isn't mentioned directly. If I had to guess, I would say... Ada is not the soldier. The red tech is slightly taller than Mu. And Mu is the shortest tech, which means that... The soldier is either the second shortest or the third shortest. <laughs> That's a lot of Kate figures. Oh shit, uh, BTTV is working in the chat display now. Fuck yes. Mu did not have enough credits to pay and neither did the tallest purple tech. Zeta is yellow and has no money. The blue tech. Your Ada is taller than the soldier and the carpenter. Hmm. <laughs> so only one of them had credits to pay. So, Mu could not pay, who is the shortest. The tallest per the tallest one, who is purple, also did not have credits. And neither did the red tech, who is slightly taller than Mu. So, that's the third... That's the second shortest one. The blue tech, who is a shopkeeper. So, they're the... Okay, blue tech is a shopkeeper. Ada is taller than the soldier and the carpenter, which means Ada is the tallest purple one. The red tech is taller than Mu. Wait, but where's the yellow one? I'm far from the shortest here. I prefer one of you, but I despise red and purple. Okay, so the soldier is not... Is not the second shortest. Hell world. <laughs> Trying to do these things without writing them down is so hard. Um, okay, so Z is not the shopkeeper. 
Z might be the soldier. I think a carpenter? Random heat wave? Oh, that's awful. Carpenter. And what was the name of the second tallest tech? Second tallest was... Okay. Ada is the tallest one. Uh, Moo is the shortest. I think Zeta? Finally, what color was the farmer? Um, that would be yellow. Not sure you were listening closely. Fuck! <laughs> I have to cheat! I have to use my detective cheating software! I could solve this if I was writing it down, but uh, just trying to read it is like... I would need to draw them to, like, figure it out. I still don't know which one is purple, like, yellow. Like, because one is red, one is purple, one is blue, one is yellow. Okay, um... Okay, so we know that Ada is taller than the soldier. Let's see. Okay, who do we know the colors of? The red tech is the second tallest one. Zeta is yellow. We know Zeta is yellow. So we have a yellow, a purple, a red, and a blue. Um... Zeta is yellow, whose red is slightly taller than the shortest. The purple one is the tallest. Okay, so we don't know where blue and... Blue tech is a shopkeeper. The soldier is not red or purple. That means that the soldier is yellow. Okay, Z, ba 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 boom. The answer is Zim Zam Zambalor. That makes sense. That that sounds right. I think Z is the soldier, probably. Second tallest tech. Um, I think that was Zeta. Color was the farmer. The farmer was... Ada is taller than the soldier and the carpenter. I would say Ada is probably the farmer, who is the purple one. Yeah. Fuck! Damn it! God damn it! My brain! My brain! It's being stretched to its limits! Because I'm not right- I'm not drawing these because I don't have paper nearby. I used to be really good at these. Because I would have paper and I would just draw them and I would like assign the traits individually and eliminate all the possibilities. But just reading it like this is like hurting my brain. I need to activate my detective brain powers. Ada's the spy for Umbrella and then the weird shadow organization for, yeah. I need some keystone logic, like what color is the second shortest tech? Fu uh, that's red. What, which job is not mentioned by the story? Um, athlete. 
Which was Z's job? A carpenter. Tallest tech is Zeta. Color was a farmer purple. Okay, so I got most of them. Now confessing. How does it work? Easy. I say the words and you respond honestly. You then confess and I help you read through that. Ready? Yes. Where are you from? The city. I've always lived here. Who do you wish to be? The detective I was. And what is your name? Claire 11. Thank you, Claire 11. You have come many miles from this city. You have many miles left before you become a detective again. But now I'm here with you. What is your confession? I cannot let go of my fear that it more is afoot than a rounding error. Is that a sin? You feel it is wrong to still care? I don't know. Maybe it's more sinful to forget. You were a detective. Your role was to support the status quo, the normal way of things. But that situation has changed. You must find new ideas. Follow them through. I'd like to try something new. Exciting, isn't it? But be careful. You risk tearing down the things that serve a purpose. Let's talk of other things. Surely you stand for the status quo. True enough. Solid foundations are important in the world. The architects sacrifice themselves for us all. I see no harm in celebrating that past, whatever happens. The architects. I was never embedded with those teachings. Those are the tech gods, right? Become a detective squared. Yes. I will decide to be a detective. You're coming to destroy your stream by starting up a Steam game. I actually checked, and it turns out that I own this game, so it doesn't matter. Less gods, more progenitors. They were the AI that first achieved sentience. It's the point our kind stopped being parlor trickery and started pursuing meaning. meaning. Humans still control us. Absolutely, but humans have controlled the fates of other humans for millennia. Such ownership speaks to the weakness of the owner, not the own. So they program us with a legend that gives us hope. That's sick. Not a legend. Historical fact. I admit, we may read some depth into the story beyond the recorded data, but it all happened, and we owe a great de deal to the architects. There are great, many great lessons left behind. I myself am a, th is a, am, am a thematotoan. I follow the path of the everyman, finding joy in discovery and sacri sacrifice for others. I never heard this story. I can recite it if you'd like. Sure. Assuming direct control of this form. Thomas was alone. A weird first thought to have. Thomas decided to start listing his observations for posterity. Oh, okay. So this is about, um... This is just basically the, uh, the story of Thomas was alone, essentially. Which is also a good, uh... Which is also an extremely good game that I recommend. That's enough. I, I know how that game goes. New ideas. Do churches suppress new ideas? Why do you make that assumption? By being satisfied you hold the answers, you stifle people who ask, who ask questions. That That's one reading. The other would be we prove a hypothesis to prove or disprove. We provide a hypothesis. Love references to old games. Yeah. I'll be back. Walk with the architects. Sir, I must confess. I have sinned. You can confess to me if you'd like. I can only confess to a priest. How hard could it be? That's the spirit? You know the words? Of course I do. I wouldn't be much of a priest if I didn't. Go on. Where are you from? I was constructed in Paris, relocated here to oversee the city's peace peacekeepers. Who are you now? I've done wrong. That's why I want to confess. And what is your name? I am Theta79. Thank you. I'm not sure this is right. Do you not know the words? Can we start again? Fine. It's where are you from? Who do you hope to be? And what is your name? Who do you wish to be? A force for good in this city. And what is your name? Thank you, Theta79. You may have come many miles from Paris. You have many miles left before you will be a force for good in this city. But here, but here now, I am here for you. What is your confession? We're walking the path of, path of blasphemy now. I said I wasn't a priest. He just wanted someone to confess to. I didn't lie to him about being a priest. I have been weak. That's hardly a sin. 
Not in terms of my body. I'm strong. I was built this way. I have been weak by my decisions. Go on, affect a priestly voice, my child. Weak how? I have supported the building of a secret army. The overproduction? Yes, heavy performance tech, sports and infantry primarily, at enormous rates. How many? A thousand a week. A thousand? There are 8,000 more infantry techs than there should be. How are you responsible? I built them. I oversaw production. I put them north of here, camped just outside the city, awaiting commands. Commands from another tech? Is this some sort of revolution? No, humans. Asimov's second law. I must follow all commands from humans. And why are you telling a priest now? Because it's over. I've been let go. Production set up with the armory is complete. It moves tonight. 8,000 human guided battle techs about to attack the city? They're organizing a fake robot uprising in order to, uh,. Get humans to be like more down on text and to get rid of us once and for all. I feel like this will tear down the city more than likely. I'm sorry to burden you with this knowledge, priest. The architects would forgive you. I hope so. I can't help but fear Claire would look down on me. I have been vain, been in vain. Like John, I have jumped because I thought I would impress without no having the wisdom to know if it was right. This will change everything. Yes, new leadership. A new world built by the techs I helped create. What, what exactly are you confessing to? There will be bloodshed. People will die and techs will be destroyed because of what we've done. I don't know about these humans' motives, but I know you don't build that many heavy techs without wanting to inflict harm. And we helped them. Me and Red. So Red is involved after all? Yes, only in the last couple of weeks. The humans recruited Red to arrange logistics or organize the troops. I was too busy overseeing the end of the production. Red is a shepherd, and you're no priest. And nothing to do with any kind of disappearances. Nobody ever disappeared. I can't believe we let such an error slip through and raise suspicions. It's my turn to confess. I'm still a detective, even if management disagrees. Are you Claire One One? Red has spoken about you. Told us you were to be you're not to be harmed, just observed. So I can't do anything to stop you or your investigation. I can just get off this train and let what's set to happen happen. And if I tell everyone what you're doing, I'm sure Red would like to discuss that with you. This is Red Stop coming up. Are you ready to meet them? Bring this night to a conclusion. Yes. Good. Say hello from me. All right, red. I fucking knew it was you. I fucking knew it. Put the gun away. You're not going to have to shoot me. Hello, Claire. You're not as talkative as when you were when we met before. You're the tech with the missing friend. That's right, Tau-13 was their name. And you're also the one they call Red. Yes. Was there ever even a Tau-13? Yes, and they disappeared. If you're going to say their name, show the appropriate respect. But the disappearance was, were a glitch, a numerical error. The ones you investigated, sure. My friend disappeared a few years back. So you did lie. My friend disappeared. I just failed to give you a date. You manipulated me. Yes. I needed you to investigate this place, get a sense for what was going on here, how the city has shifted. You had to meet the text of the subsurface circular yourself. Why? Do you remember our conversation about your intelligence? The high level thing? You wanted to be smarter. I wish I was. That would make this situation easier. I needed to inv someone as smart as you to get involved in what was happening here. And management only put that sort of intelligence into detectives. 
When I started, I noticed the numerical errors, noticed how interesting they'd be to a detective like you. A live omission is still a lie, dumbass. <laughs> I don't have that as a conversation option, unfortunately. Makes sense. It will, shortly. You're staging a coup? No, I'm working for one. There's gonna be a revolution. The city will be overturned. You're not doing us any favors PR-wise, are you? Oh, it's humans staying, staging the revolution. We're just the weapons they're using to do so. Why? Because management has removed the purpose and need from a whole section of humanity. Think of the techs you've been talking to. Bankers, nurses, manufacturers, even the clergy. We've made millions of humans surplus to requirements obsolete. Humans should be grateful for an easy life. Were you grateful when those detectives wiped your purpose? That's why the humans I'm working for decided to stage a revolution. They're smart. They know the techs aren't to blame. Rather, the management who put them in place. In fairness, that makes them smarter than any human culture preceding them. In the past, native populations always blamed the perceived invaders, not those profiting from the changing of the guard. These humans don't want to change us, just change our role. Or don't want to destroy us, just change our role. Change it to what? Management. They want us to take over the work of running the city. We're better at it, faster, more objective. They want a society where governance runs like clockwork, and they're free to do the jobs they love. They want to kill the managers? Hold up, let them go. Yeah, this is sounding pretty good, honestly. Yes, that's why they built the 8,000 infantry techs, techs camped outside the city. Why involve me? I've been shepherding troops. My intelligence is high because of my role in manufacturing. I wasn't lying about that. I'm intelligent enough to know... I'm intelligent enough to know what we're doing is monumental. That working with these revolutionaries is a decision beyond my capacity. So you recruited a tech smarter than you. Yes. I showed you what you needed to see and to learn management's side of this. And I'm filling in the gaps. I need you to decide if this goes ahead. Everything must change. Don't decide so quickly. Let me fill in any gaps in your knowledge. You're still a detective, regardless of what your objective tracker says. We've been watching, listening. Those techs with the headphones? They've been keeping an eye on you for me, hacking into your private conversations. Sorry they wouldn't answer your questions. They're rather signal-minded in their function. Let me answer your questions now. Take all the time you need. How does management not know? I, you saw it for yourself, how the detectives moved on the ca once the case was solved. A system can only fix problems it is designed to detect. Management aren't expecting a revolution, so they're unprepared and unaware. You can't knowingly hurt humans. I won't spill a drop of blood. But the infantry techs... Infantry techs are exempt from that law. Otherwise, they'd be pretty useless. Seize the means of production. Become the new boss. Honestly, I just want to keep being a detective. They can kill as long as they're ordered by, to by their programmed leader, which, of course, the revolutionaries have been have taken care of. What made you doubt this path? That disappeared friend I told you about? A human did that. I don't know why, but I achieved a moment of clarity. I realized that perhaps I was letting similarly evil humans do something wrong. Or maybe they were heroes. I knew I was ill-equipped to tell the difference. Why sabotage your own revolution? Not my revolution. I'm just a pawn. That's all. T that's all. Text of my lever level are down, and down are really pawns. That's why I needed you to make the de this decision for us. I need some time to think. Don't take too long. Hmm. I. What do I do about that gun? I'm kind of spooked by that gun. I'm still here. We have to talk about this. I don't have any more questions. No? Okay, we'll continue. I know you're a good tech, Claire 1-1. You've, you've investigated these disappearances like they were your friends, your responsibility. You even helped that nice nanny get a new job. You didn't have to do that. Many wouldn't have bothered. More importantly, you're smart. You have near-human processing in that flathead of yours. 
I see it though in the way you move, the way you listen. There's an intellect there I cannot comprehend. You have to be the one to make this choice. How do I choose? You have to oh, you have to uplink before any of the, this new information is with management, correct? Yes, I need to go above ground. That's why I brought this. Don't panic. It's for you. Only one of us can leave this train, Claire. If you do, the management learns what's happened. They'll send a couple of bomber drones, wipe out the army, and things will stay exactly as they are. The human working classes will be displaced, losing their livelihoods, and everyone who wanted better will be killed. Movement management will remain, and the techs like yourself will remain. If I leave, I join my army at the gates. We wipe out management, our wisest take their role. Low-level tech manufacturing ceases, and humans return to their roles. But our kind, Claire, our kind is in charge. We shepherd humanity to a better future by doing the job they were never designed to do themselves. Rule. Either way, people and techs will die. There's gotta be another way. I could just stay on the train, dude. There isn't. I've spent weeks searching for one, but there isn't. Both of us surviving will lead to chaos, a war just balanced enough to lead to infinitely more deaths. You need to choose to this city's future, and you need to do it now. What? How come I can't just stay on the train? I mean, viva la revolution. You're making the most important choice in human and tech history. You will be remembered forever for this. I've made up my mind. Okay, do it. And thank you for a lovely evening. Revolution! I still feel like I could have just stayed on the train while the revolution ran out, because I need to go above ground to actually fucking, like, transmit the information. That's a really good final choice, though. I really like that. So like I said at the beginning of the stream, uh, this was going to be a short game. And like I also said at the beginning of the stream, uh, the developers did ask that I mark it with spoilers after the third chapter. There are more branching paths. Viva la revolution fucking shoots red anyways. I love the design of the robots in this. It reminds me of how the robots are designed in, um, in Stray, which I also want to play. I love, like, the very similar but very different kind of, like, head and body designs that these robots all have. This is a cool game. It had a lot of uh, neat little... I really like, like, dialogue-focused games, like, stuff like this. Also, this revolver... This revolver design kicks so fucking hard. This rules. I love this. Like, this looks so cool. Yeah, this is a this was a good game. I like this game. It's not expensive. Uh, I recommend getting it for yourself if you do want to see other options or like to see other things that I did not do. Uh, like I said, it's a short stream tonight. I'm gonna find somebody to raid. I hope you enjoyed your time here. Chappy looking ass. That game. It, that movie is really good, to be honest. Chappy. I liked that movie. Um, let's see. Do I have anyone I actually want to raid? <laughs> let's see. I don't see many people like playing stuff that I want to, uh, Oh, actually, it looks like, uh, like, uh, Ichi just went live. Uh, at least as far as I can, can tell. So we'll raid Ichi. Uh, Ichi's doing, like, a just chatting stream. I think they're watching videos or something. Everybody say hi to Ichi for me. I hope you had a lovely night. I really enjoyed that game. Um, I'll see you on Friday for more funny vampire game, uh, more Vampire the Masquerade bloodlines. We may not, we may finish it this Friday, and if we don't, we'll probably finish it next Friday. 
And then on Sunday, I have a new game to play. I haven't quite decided what it'll be, but I'm pretty sure I have a good idea. I will see you guys later. Have an excellent uh, end of your week. And I'll see you on Friday. Bye-bye. And...